Today we have information about the Interact Car Show, a hundred yards with Jillian Stahlbomber, and why Miss Hire is leaving. We are making stories by teens for teens, creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SBTV. I'm Jordan. And I'm Cameron. You're watching SBTV. If you had Miss Hire, you may know she won't be here as much next year. Let's see why. Next year, one of SHS teachers will not be here full time. We caught up with her to learn more about what she will be doing. So my husband and I decided that um, it would be a good opportunity for me to be able to stay at home with um, our daughter is four and so she has one more year before she'll be going to kindergarten and I really wanted the opportunity to be able to spend more time with her and then also um, we have two boys they're going to be in sixth and fourth grade next year and I am hoping that I'll be able to go to their school and volunteer more and be able to participate in field trips that I haven't been able to do so far to this point. I will miss seeing my students, especially my seminar students, because they're going to be seniors, so I'll miss seeing them every day and being able to be involved with um, students' lives. Miss Hire was a big influence on many students. We interviewed a few of them to learn about what made her a great teacher. I really liked her generous personality and how kind she was in accepting. She influenced me to be more patient and more understanding and to always do the right thing. She acts like she's our friend more than she's our teacher. She likes to get to know us more than other teachers do. It's really hard to explain. She's really inspirational to me because she, I don't know, she's just that cool, I guess. Good luck, Miss Hire, and we will miss not seeing you here every day. Hire will be here next year, just not full time. Now, on to your announcements. Seniors, if you're wanting to speak at graduation, you will need to submit your speech to Mrs. Welch for her review. There are many scholarship opportunities. Check Schoology for more information. Keisha has job opportunities for students. You must be 16 years of age to apply. See more information on Schoology. Students interested in driver's ed can enroll online on the high school webpage. The cost is $175, and you must be at least 14. For, a, for, for more information, check Schoology or contact Mr. Tinsley. The Interact Car Show will be Saturday, April 27th from 1 to 3 p.m. We have more information with Allie. Hey, Vikes. I'm here with Andrew to talk about the car show. So what is it? The Interact Car Show is a car show where everyone brings their very nice cars, and we it's a fundraiser to uh, help food and hunger. Awesome. When is it? It is April 27th, and it's going to be in the north parking lot, I believe. Awesome. Now back to your anchors. If you want to enter your car, make sure you get a form from Mr. Collins. Any student interested in joining the Writing Center next year must fill out an application on the website. All application materials must be returned to Ms. Sands by May 1st. If you have any questions, please ask. If you plan on attending prom and afterglow, make sure you have your student ID. If you need to get one, go to the library and get one there. Congrats to the many FCCLA members who competed at the state conference. The music students performed at regional Saturday and received top Division I rankings. They are now eligible to compete at state April 27th in Emporia High School. Congrats. Now let's see what Cameron has going on in the sports. If you're planning to enroll in driver's ed this summer, enrollment is this month only and costs $175. You must be at least 14 years old and a Seaman High School student. You do not need your learning permit to join. Classes will start on June 3rd and last three weeks. To register for Driver's Ed, go to the Seaman webpage and click on Driver's Ed. Cost is $175. If you have questions, see Mr. Tinsley. See you there, Vikes. We walked 100 yards with Jillian Stombauer. Let's check it out. Kane is in the building. Vikes, we're here with Jillian to talk more about this season. So, how has your season gone so far? Uh, we're three and two. We played five games, and we have been doing pretty good. We've grown a lot in our first few games. Yeah. How is this team different from previous teams that you've played with? 
Um, I think we're pretty young, which is good because that means we will have lots of talent to like grow mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. So. Um, what are some of your team's strengths and how does that help you against your opponents? Uh, we have lots of speed, which helps in everywhere because you need to have speed to get onto the end of balls and to defend. What do you personally bring to the team, like talking wise or like on the field? Um, on the field, I play center back, so I'm kind of in charge of making sure that <laughs> um, everybody's in position and so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and what are you looking forward to most this season? Um, I'm looking forward to growing as a team <laughs> and having chemistry. Yes. And when is your next game? Our next game's on Friday against St. James. Okay, that's all we have. Now make sure you go out and support your bikes this Friday. Now back to your anchors. Make sure you go watch the bikes tomorrow at home. Girls Swim took second in their meet at Manhattan last night. Amazing job, girls. There's a volleyball parent meeting tonight in the Commons at 6. That's all we have for sports today. Now on to Joshua Oliver Duncan and see when the cold is going to end. change in the weather moving overnight and that's leaving us feeling 40 to 50 degrees colder for today so yesterday we topped that at 87 degrees and today thanks to a 30 to 40 mile per hour west wind in terms of the gusts it's going to feel like the 30s and 40s all day long and yeah that's 40 to 50 degrees colder than yesterday you probably noticed the changes beginning this morning now prom is coming up we're just two days away so it's time to take a little bit of a closer look right now i'm calling for most of the day to be dry cloudy skies and a high around 52 degrees that is a slight improvement from what i was calling for yesterday now there does still appear to be a chance for rain mainly late in the night so here's the picture at one o'clock early Sunday morning, you can see an area of heavier rain to the east, where there's going to be some dry air on the northwest side of the system, so it remains to be seen whether we'll see much precipitation. If we do, however, it could mix with or change over to snow as we get later into the night. So that's the way things are looking right now. We'll have an update for you coming up on SVTV tomorrow. And checking out the seven-day forecast, we are tracking those windy conditions today and even early tomorrow, but by the afternoon, sunny skies, 57 degrees and lighter winds. There's that chance for rain or snow Saturday night. And then our next weather maker holds off until the middle of next week. Now, Cameron and Jordan, back to you. We have another What's Trending about the Seniors Assassin game. Hey Vikes, my name is Maya Kramer and I'm here to tell you what's trending. <laughs> so, what is it? Assassins is a game that the seniors play and they all get together and they use water guns to eliminate each other until you get down to one person and that one person wins all the money that the seniors had put in. Okay, so how do you play the game? So you play the game by, so I'm the godfather and I circle everybody up who's playing, which means I give them a target. And at their target, then they go after them after school with the different rules and they go and shoot them with their water gun. If they hit them, then they're eliminated and they go on to the next round. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, this year's pot for the senior class is $350, so you can either split that with the last two people and make $175 each, or the first person, first place prize can get $300 and the second place prize can get $50. All right, thank you. Any last words, Brock? I hope you know I got shooters on you, bro. I hope you know I got shooters on. Ah! <laughs> Time of death, 11.03 p.m. Hey, Phoebe, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I swear, that was so smart. Pietro, I'm so sorry, but I'm your assassin! <laughs> Thank you. 
Good luck to those who are left. Tomorrow we have information on Grayson Seaver's signing and the foreign exchange students. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you.